tonight on CBS 47 Sidelines. It's week 11 of the high school football season, the last week before the playoffs, and that means rivalry week, the cowhide game, the Range Rider game, the fire extinguisher. We've got you covered. And of course, we can't forget about the oldest rivalry west of the Mississippi. That's right, Andrew. The pig was up for grabs tonight. CBS 47 Sidelines starts. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to week 11 of CBS 47 sidelines. We've reached the end of the regular season. The playoffs start next week. Seedings will be announced tomorrow. Now it's been a tough year for Fresno High, just one in eight. But the game the Warriors look forward to the most each year is the pig game. And it's our Papa Murphy's game of the week. The 90th annual matchup between Fresno and Roosevelt held at Sunnyside this year. Pick it up in the first quarter. Rough Riders up 7-0. The Warriors had to deal with this guy all night, senior Dejon Giddens. He drags a defender with him, but that will eventually set up this. From six yards out, Joe Theus hands it off to Giddens. He follows his blockers and gets in for the score. Roosevelt up 14-0. Second quarter now, Theus airs it out. And he finds Michael Gilbert Garcia with a big game. Goes down inside the 20. Later, Giddens takes the handoff, and he easily gets in. Rough Riders up 21-0, but Fresno would not get shut out. Warriors senior quarterback Nathaniel Nahara finds a wide open Cameron Brown for the score. They'd miss the PAT, it's 21-6, but this game was all Rough Riders. Give the ball to Giddens here, he'll do the rest. He had five rushing touchdowns tonight. Roosevelt wins 49-14, and the pig stays with the Rough Riders. Our Julia Lopez caught up with the winners and their trophy. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. I'm here with the winners of our Papa Murphy's Game of the Week, the Roosevelt Rough Riders. They win 49-14. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and joining me right now is head coach Vince. Vince, just tell me about this team and how you guys were able to just pull out that win. You know, I kind of started back in the summer. We knew we were going to have a young team, and, um, you know, the guys really bought into what we were doing. You know, as a coaching staff, we knew we were going to have to be patient with the, with the young guys and the, at lack of experience. But, you know, we've grinded these guys for 10 weeks, 10 games now, and, and, and the proof's in the pudding now. You can tell by the scoreboard. We're very happy and very pleased. And this is, a, this is a rivalry week. Just what's the mindset heading into a week like this? Uh, you just try to prepare for everything. You just never know what you're going to see in a rivalry game. Uh, obviously, the records, uh, you can throw those out the window when you play these kinds of games. And, uh, you know, we're just, we just feel good about getting out on top and heading to the playoffs. Yeah. That's right. And, Joe, where are you? All right, Joe, that's what I was going to talk about next. You guys are now playoff bound. Just how much is riding on this game? It was a rivalry game, but playoff implications were on the line. We have to win to go to the playoffs. We have to do what we have to do. Yeah, that's it. Juju, how much does this game mean to you guys? Man, this game meant a lot to us. This was do or die for our season. You know, we knew we had to get it done. It was a lot on the line. So, just play rider ball, man. Just had to get it done. And this is your senior year. This has to mean a little bit more to you. Yeah, it does. Uh, man, treat every game. So it could be my last. You know, just got to ball out. <laughs> and then how much does that pig poncho mean to you? Oh, that pig's everything. That pig is everything, man. It was a great, great win. Proud to have it. Proud to have it. Awesome. Good to bring it home. You guys played awesome out there. You guys held him to 14 points. And then where's Dijon getting? <laughs> All right, Dijon. So you're a senior as well. Just how much did this uh, win mean to you? It meant a lot to us. It won all the night. We all come together and we all execute it. We all play with this team. We came out with good energy and we executed it. Got the dunk. So this guy right here didn't have one, two, three, four touchdowns. He had five yeah. rushing yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> Where does that come from? What do you love? How are you just so like dominant out there? It's all my line. <laughs> my line. Yeah. Nah, they, they, they open the holes and uh, I just do what I learn and uh, during the week and. And fight out to the game. And now you guys are for sure playing in one more game. Um, can we hear it for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, guys? Yeah! All right, thanks, Julia. They were yelling Poncho, by the way, a nickname for the pig. We go to the South Valley now for the Bell game. Tulare Western against Tulare Union. The 55th annual matchup is also for the East Yosemite League title. Both teams 4-0 in league. 
The Tribe has won three straight in the series, and it took the early lead. You saw Jorge Gonzalez with a nice pass to Willie James. Nice catch as well for a 38-yard pickup. That led to Gonzalez with the QB sneak for the one-yard touchdown. 7-0, but the Mustangs respond. Taron Johnson takes the handoff, and he's gone. 32 yards for the touchdown to Larry Western. to go on to win 24-14. The Central Sequoia League title on the line tonight in Reedley. Selma taking on Kingsburg in that annual battle for the fire extinguisher. Kingsburg, by the way, undefeated this season 9-0. Vikings with the ball first. They go three and out. Selma with the ball now, and the Bears give it to the Vikings. Xavier Jimenez with the pick. So that's going to set up the offense for some really special play calling. And yes, Kingsburg would capitalize. Travis Hall, the quarterback, keeps it himself. He needs 10 yards. He runs for 20 and a touchdown. Kingsburg wins 43-27. The Vikings finish the regular season a perfect 10-0. Just getting started on this week 11 edition of CBS 47 Sidelines. Coming up, we'll take you out to some big rivalries in the track and the C-Mac. As we go to break, here are some scores on the Grappetti Automotive family scoreboard.